<laughs> Do you know what the title of the show is that has AR people? Alter ego, I think. But something like that, where it's like, oh, what are they? What is media trying to lean you into? And if it's super big and colorful, it kind of just seems like it could be a, a virtual thing. That's maybe a little, a little get people, get older people used to big, fanciful, different worlds that are are not realistic looking. I tell my mom, yo, all pop stars are gonna look like these AR people. She's I think gonna, they'll still be human based. I she was like, oh yeah, but there's gonna be somebody backstage like performing and singing. And I'm like, yeah. Until they realize that they could just play a recording and save money, you know? It's all about saving I think money. by then, it's going to be a lot less label-based. So you might have not the big heads running music going on tour. You might just have individual people going on tour that are bigger. Maybe they do still want to save time with technology. But I don't, I don't know if it's going to be such big conglomerates that are looking to cut the dollar any way they can. Like the the fucking the touring companies like let's say they have an ai or not an ai but just a fucking a fake pop star they can just like do so much more with the show because the the person's not a human you know you might you might for okay so if it's more creator based versus labels at this point in the future and there's more tech where you can own your own stuff and interact with your fan base more and that's probably going to be part of it where you're interacting with your fan fan base more one on one instead of kind of going through a label and the label just does gives you a loan for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. Like like you're saying if like you're you're an you're an independent creator that has an avatar and you're like, Yo, I wanna go on tour with my avatar. I'm saying that your edge as a creator without a label and billions of dollars is that you have a connection with your fan base, which could be your deciding factor if you go on tour. And that's actually you on stage instead of they are. Yeah, I thought about that. I was like, is it really super important that the person is real for that connection? So and more also, towards like, it is kind of still the brand of people, but more non-human brand. Yeah, like and even even when you get to like a certain level, like people, a certain level of fame, people are more invested in the idea of you than you you have a person like people know fucking lady gaga not whoever whatever her real name is you know people know there are Dr- performers Drake. that definitely don't idolize the like art of performing on stage that could probably be upstaged by not them like fucking uh what's his name earl like, sweatshirt or something hey i like earl's performances it's on brand for him you can't you could obviously but having someone live on stage that is connected to the source of making that music is an edge that you can't really do with tech now if you're doing pop stars if you're doing k-pop that could be augmented to all hell because it's cookie cutter it's big and bright and it's not super personal yeah i see what you're saying but like i don't know i feel like we can't i can't foresee how people will think about music in the future when like most things are digital like when i have a kid and they're like 10 years old or they listen to a song and be like i don't care if it's like a real person or not or would they prefer it if it's a character that doesn't exist will they prefer it if it's a real person it could be like the classic debate like fucking uh what's it called um digital versus um analog you know you know like oh you know you know back in my day musicians were real people and they had to go on tour and like you can only they can only do one show at a time because they're only one place at a time but now they can be in new york and miami and la on the same night you know you could just do that too you have one big old new york performance and then you stream it other places and look at seamless so it's not by streaming i mean flashing on stage and it looks one-to-one of an actual person yeah it it might i think at some point maybe the uncanny valley stops but i mean there's been virtual pop stars in like korea that people enjoy right but i I guess if it if it taps into your emotions enough then it doesn't really matter the barrier to entry to if that becomes the norm will be so high because of all the production money can be a, a big old gap just just stupid money just needed that's what i'm saying if or maybe less eventually a production you need tech you need tech 
I'm thinking it's just like a team of like engineers and lighting effects artists and maybe like a sound engineer, a couple of sound engineers. What if the, the the pop stars are fake, but the bands are real? Yeah. You know? Why? <laughs> but why? Because, you know, everybody loves a live band, you know, especially when the drummer's going crazy. You know, it can't. But here's the That's thing. The, the band Valley wouldn't have to tour. That. You could have an LA based band, an, like a band for like every major city. So you don't have to spend money flying them everywhere. That'd be fun. And that's the studio. Yeah. The, the, the augmented studio might be a thing. That'd be cool. Yeah. Where you have your, your studio and you VR it with Microsoft Mesh. You just get fucking, I don't know, they get a girl, get her to sing 300 songs, and then they use all that data to make a bunch of songs, you know? See that? It's, and they're like, here, here's 20 grand. You don't own the right to see your voice anymore we're gonna go make billions off of this you just you, you know the exact amount of words that they own like oh we only own this much yeah holy shit a lot of tech a lot of tech lot that of is tech. probably right towards where it's go That's i don't know what the really thing. the leverage of the record label is today i guess just airtime and money uh definitely well i was i was thinking like because like you do so well on spotify if you have money even just a little bit of money, 50 bucks can get you like a couple thousand plays. So imagine mm -hmm. what a hundred thousand can get you. 